preparations are being made across Texas as we all brace for this bitter blast. Governor Abbott held a news conference today warning people to stay inside. Yeah, that's our best option. He's also promising that the ERCOT grid is ready to face whatever comes our way. It's important to note, though, Southeast Texas is not a part of that grid. Malia Masumoto shares more on the governor's message tonight. Starting this weekend, Texans will experience days of freezing temperatures. This is a, a basically a polar vortex uh, that's descending upon Texas. Uh, there's a, one of the coldest uh, episodes we'll have been through. And outside of the winter storms of the past few years, this weather is unusual for our Lone Star State. Anything that is left outside or going to be outside will freeze. And I think that's unusual for a lot of Texans. But Governor Abbott says two things make this cold snap different than the devastating winter storm in 2021. One, it won't last as long. And two, the power grid and their generators are more prepared than ever. As they have never been as prepared for a winter event as they are today, including have a, having a secondary source of fuel available to make sure that they will not lose access to fuel ERCOT says their fuel and gas supply is completely full and prepared, but that gas should stay with the pros. The Texas Division of Emergency Management is warning Texans from heating their homes in dangerous ways. They say to never run a generator inside your home or run your car inside your garage with the door closed. Carbon monoxide poisonings always happen during these type of cold weather events. The state has deployed all of their warming centers for this weekend and early next week. There's no reason for people to stay cold in their home with all of the warming centers that we have across the state.